Hey, Steve with Fox Can Farms. Do you have a freezer that's getting some accumulation of frost right on the inside, right somewhere along the edge or where the seal is? Well, we're going to take a look at something like that today and see if uh, perhaps we've got a fix that will work for you. Okay, so I picked up this freezer. Um, this might come as some surprise to you, that those, well, those of you that know me. I did not pick it up at an estate sale. In fact, I picked it up for free. So my son-in-law was giving a bid to a, uh, a, a, a client, a customer, and uh, she had this freezer and she just wanted to get rid of it. So he called me and asked if I needed a freezer. Uh, because of course, if you've watched our channel, you know that we uh, process our own chickens and meat rabbits. And I jumped right on it because I happened to know that my mom and dad wanted a freezer. But there's a problem with this one. And we got a little bit of a problem. We were getting some frost right up in here just, you know, as you go in on the plastic right on the door, there was some frost buildup. This is not a frost-free freezer, which is actually what you want, by the way, if you're going to use a freezer for longer-term storage. You don't want a frost-free freezer uh, because in order for it to be frost-free, it actually has to warm up enough to remove the moisture. And that changes the temperature of your food and your food doesn't last as long. But but I digress on that. So let's get back to the real issue here, which is how in the world did we fix this little issue on ours? Well, basically it wasn't sealing on the top here. Now you could go get another seal, but I'm not sure that would have fixed it. Some other things that I've seen on, the, on, the, on YouTube is people will take like a 2x4, right, and they'll open the door and they'll stick it in the side here, and then they'll hold it on the bottom and grab it here and just kind of tweak it and try to tw basically bend the door, right, bend it, and then the seal will catch better, and apparently that works for some people. I did try that on one of our freezers, I couldn't get that to work. Let me show you what worked on this one, check this out. Look at this, all I did was install a toggle clamp. This toggle clamp took care of it. Uh, I'll point out some things that I was, I was worried about when I did this. But I, all I had to do was dr drill some holes, some small pilot holes here, line it up, and mount this toggle. Now this toggle clamp, the cool thing about these, this kind is they're adjustable. Now I don't have any affiliate links or anything like that at this point. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll do something like that at some point. I found these on uh, Amazon. You know, I just kind of adjusted. I didn't want it too tight. But one of the things that I think you want to think about before you go do this, okay, um, uh, of course, we're talking about doing this in an older refrigerator. If you have a brand new refrigerator under warranty that has this issue, you shouldn't be doing any of this. You ought to be talking to somebody. This is an older freezer, all right? Freezer, refrigerator, take your pick, but freezer is where you're really going to notice it, right? So one of my concerns is, if you feel the front of a door of a freezer, it's going to be whatever temperature it is, right? And on the sides, you're going to feel it. typically it's warmer. And that's because the, 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 the lines that do the cooling are running through the sides here. And that's how it's taking moisture, or rather heat, out of the interior. And you can feel it warming up. So I was a little concerned that there might be something running through the sides here. So but with this, so I stayed really close. So, so the, this particular toggle clamp, right, it's very small, and it's right on the edge. And I actually don't feel any warmth here. I do feel it here. I don't feel it over here. Is that the end-all, be-all? Well, that's the risk you're going to have to take. I'm just showing you what we did. And the odds of a line running right through the edge here, I took a chance. It was a free freezer. It worked. I'm actually going to do this on another one of our freezers as well. So, now this particular one that I found on Amazon, I had bought some of these toggle clamps, I don't know, years ago. And uh, I really like these because they're adjustable. And, you know, if you have those ones where they're a buckle, sometimes I have a hard time with that because either what I'm doing, I don't get it lined up right and it's too loose or it's too tight, or whatever I put it on has the ability to shift as is what's, what's is exactly the situation you're going to have on a freezer because of this this here. You want that to be tight but not too tight. And I love the fact that you can adjust these. The one I had in stock, in stock, 
The one I had in the garage here at the house uh, in the shop was this particular one, which I guess could almost double as a, as a safety latch, but I'm not going to be the person that tells you this is child safe, but I will show you what this particular one was designed. You have to, uh, if you can see that, you have to lift this up and then pull pull it out in order to open up, tip it a little bit so you need to lift it and then pull it. Now, if you're doing this on the side where you don't have to show somebody, I suppose you can go like this and then open it, right? So what I did in our case, because we don't need this, this is for my mom and dad, uh, we just, I just, there's just a little C-clip here. I popped that off and pulled that pin out and that gets you to what you see here. So, so for us, this resolved our issue with, uh, with uh, the frost buildup. It took the seal out. We didn't have to try to worry about trying to find a new seal or bending the door and getting a, a crimp in the metal here. This solved our issue. So hope that helps you and uh, maybe that'll be something that uh, you want to think about for your freezer if you've got a similar issue. So yeah, I think that's, that's about it. Oh, uh, well, you know what? Make it happen.